How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going to take a look at how you can very easily get over 32,000 capital peak points every single raid weekend. I was able to do this on three separate accounts this weekend by attacking a variety of bases. So we're going to jump in and take a look and see what I'm using and how you can also have similar successes. The real key difference on how you get over 30,000 is you have to be a little bit selfish. You have to attack usually six different bases. You can't just two shot or three shot a handful of bases. It's not going to work. Unfortunately, the points available for clearing a base out just aren't there. Maybe once bases are fully maxed out, then you might be able to get you know, 30,000, 32,000 from, what, three different bases, maybe? But until then, we're going to be attacking six different bases. And we're looking at bases that you can either get over guaranteed 5,000 points, or clean up a base and finish off and get the full amount, and maybe even some bonus points as well. So that was the basic layout of the Golem Quarry. First attack got over 6,300 points, which is perfect. Next up, we're taking a look at the Balloon Lagoon first hit. For this one, you definitely want to try and make sure you take out the back end rocket artillery. For whatever reason, a lot of clans don't reposition it. So one graveyard on the bottom side of the rocket artillery usually is enough to take it out if your troops are dying fast enough. And then of course, these unprotected rocket artilleries are going to be very easy to take out as well. So I've got a nose itch that just will not go away. If you bear with me. So here we're using the the same strategy we used on the first attack, the the ground version of the graveyard spam strategy. And I've attacked a bunch of different bases, so I know roughly how the troops are going to path and what they're able to get. So again, we got over six thousand on this first attack. Next up, we're taking a look at a builder's workshop first attack basic layout we're using what I like to do is we drop one graveyard spell sort of behind the giant cannon and then two on the upper side of the blast bow we then come in from the left hand side and try and cr open up the walls so that our giants and our wizards will eventually regroup and push towards this bottom side of the base. Stun the giant cannon with one pair of hogs. And then from here it's pretty easy. We're going to send in our last pair of hogs to take out the cannon. And you know, help out. Because we have a bunch of skeletons that are trying to break through the walls. It is nice if you can break them out. But if not, they eventually get out on their own. Now we're trying to distract this giant cannon as best we can. We have a couple of super wizards still alive, which is perfect. Get a decent split where some go towards the center, some troops go towards the top side. And we're able to get just under 5,900 points. Next up, we're taking a look at a capital peak middle hit. Definitely thought I would be able to fully take out this base, but alas, we could not get the district hall taken out with a minimal amount of troops. I thought I could take it, take it out with all the super archers. Unfortunately not. So now all of our balloons are just going to get one shot by the district hall. And we do not have enough, sadly for the remaining four back-end 
air targeting defenses. So that's where if this attack had gone a little bit better, you know, instead of 32,000, it might have actually been 34, 35,000 in total. But we are taking a look at the easy way on how to do it. So you don't actually have to have every attack be a great success. You just need some of them to be successful. And you need to at least get some points on the others. So here we are cleaning up the base. Coming in from this left hand side, we already know that this rocket artillery has a graveyard and this blast bill won't be a problem. So we're placing the other three graveyards over the multi mortars. The multi mortars are great targets for your graveyard spells. Ideally, the hierarchy for using a graveyard spell should be probably rocket artillery, number one, then blast bow, giant cannon. And then if none of those are in the base, or if they already have a graveyard, then either air bombs if you're using air, or multi-mortars if you're using ground are also great options. So here we're able to go from the left side of the base to the right hand side and completely clear out the base. Even got a bonus of 77 points. Last but not least, we are taking a look at a cleanup attack on a Balloon Lagoon. Again, we were looking for bases that had at least 5,000 points available. We see here that the rocket artillery is covered, so we don't have to worry about that. Dropped one over on the Inferno Tower, since I was hoping that some skeletons would spawn. But when you drop a graveyard spell over an Inferno Tower, it is almost completely useless, because the Inferno Tower can retarget and take out the skeleton super super fast. So that is pretty much the only thing you have to learn with the graveyard spam strategy is when and how to place the graveyard spells. You'll have amazing results. So we're already through the rest of the base. Just gonna fast forward through this cleanup. I'm also gonna have Depending on how these come out, uh, the next one or the last couple videos are going to be of 32,000 point raid weekend. So be sure to take a look at those if you're interested. Like and subscribe if you want to help support me. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and growing the channel. And until next time, take care.